So, yeah, the disease that this causes is called legionellosis, and that oh, started as, isn't it though? It started as two separate diseases. So oh, I, I have, I have a bunch of slides for this in the form of a joke. Uh, so if we if we skip forward a bit, I got a, I got a slide of like uh, legionella doing what it's doing. We had a slide mm. of uh, this thing taking out a macrophage from the inside out, which is kind of cool and gross. Um, it's like the one back. Wait, yep. which one? Oh, this one. Yeah, that one. yeah that, that's yeah. that. That's macrophages getting like bleh, uh, by a yeah. bunch of legionella. Oh, ew! Oh, no! Yeah, it's not no! Supposed to look no! Like that, fuck folks. no! Yeah. Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, our first. It's not supposed to look like that yeah. on this one. Um, uh, and then I got. Four more slides. The next four slides are yeah. one very weak visual joke yeah. about <laughs> the two diseases that Legionella causes. So, please. Yeah. Keep going, Justin. Yeah, it causes Legionellosis, yeah. which is not named for that guy. Or these not guys. Guy. Or that or guy again. Guys. Or these guys again. Or, or these, these guys. guys. Oh. And Pontiac oh. Fever, which is not named after this. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Just keep it is this a Disney World? <laughs> I don't know. I just googled like hot Pontiac. Yeah. <laughs> I it, I'm gonna. Oh, this is gonna be a risky search. Hot man. If I see it, it's, it's mostly hot it's rods. Pontiac. It's mostly hot. There's no like Cars two fan fiction or anything up there. The, you know. There's a slammed seventy Firebird Trans Am. Oh, mm. daddy. Mm. I want yeah. a Trans Am, but mostly just I can switch the badge around to Am Trans. That'd be cool. Yeah, hang on one second. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, yeah, keep going. I'm, I'm gonna look at... Uh, get a, get a Trans Am like yeah, fiber what? tattoo. Yeah, Liam uh, needs a little uh, Liam time. Mm -hmm. what, what slide should we be on? I'm confused. Uh, uh, well, I got, through, I got through the joke about how it causes legionellosis, which is not named for the Roman legions, about, the French the... Foreign Legion, Caesar's Legion, and Pontiac Fever, which is not named for Pontiacs. So now we're on slide nine, which is gonna explain legionellosis to us. Next slide. The one after this, yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. this one. Hey, that's what your lungs should look like, right? Yeah, she she feel on my pneumo till I uh, die. <laughs> yeah, lung lungs give it, be give are, it the old Nelson totally Rockefeller. Cluttered. Yes. Oh yeah. Or whichever <laughs> Rockefeller died with his mistress, I don't care. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So there are two different cut things that Legionella does for you. So one is a nasty form of pneumonia, which causes fun symptoms such as a high fever, coughing, difficulty breathing, and GI symptoms. And that takes about two to 14 days after you get infected. Mm -hmm. And the fatality rate with treatment on that one is about five to 10%. And that is similar to other forms of pneumonia. But well, it, I mean, pneumonia, it, it kills you, but it kills you pretty selective. I think William Osler called it the old man's friend, because it like, if you're really sick, it's usually the thing that like, approximately takes you out. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah, usually elderly, immunocompromised, like, the, kind of the, the, everything takes out those people, though. Hmm. But, yeah, but this is this is like something that's like deadly enough to do that, and also you if you're not careful. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean this one really like sets itself apart from other forms of pneumonia because its mortality in the untreated is higher than other pneumonias and is about forty to eighty percent, which is the normal thirty percent. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of get by with some cases of pneumonia if you're like otherwise healthy, just not knowing you have pneumonia. Like, kind of yeah. thinking you have like the worst cold in the world, and then you're just kind of like, okay. Yep, it's referred to as walking pneumonia because it's not literally landing you in bed. You can actually still kind of function. Mm. Yeah. Had it once, don't recommend. Yeah, I mean, I, you can see the extremely cool x-ray here. They should not look like that. No. Um, you, 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 that's bad, I would say. I looked at a bunch of different x-rays of uh, people with legionellosis for this to, like, you know, decide which one I want to put in. Uh, they're all pretty gnarly. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know what one that looks right is supposed to look like. So, the, the, what, essentially, what you would be looking at is one that isn't, like, a clue. It doesn't look, like, cloudy. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh, ones are supposed okay. to be black because they're supposed to be like filled with, you know, air slash space. I yeah, see, I see. What, what, what you're looking at is like a lot of uh, like dead lung tissue and like phlegm and stuff, and also like um, because it's like the alveoli in the lungs that like uh, are sort of like getting attacked here and they're like swelling up and then like you know dying. Um, it's just full of nasty. Huh? What are the but, alveoli? Uh, the alveoli are the little like breathing sacs. Uh, I'm doing air quotes here. Um, that are like on the end of you know the the things that your lungs that your bronchial tubes like branch out into, and they do the gas exchange. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. They're, they're pressing yeah, on does all look... human beings except Italians who have raviolis. <laughs> 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 yeah, all of my fucking aioli is getting inflamed. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> You're just coughing up sauce. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> I have the pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, so it's like alveoli. They look like little tiny, like I don't even really know how to describe them. Little lumpy sacks. Look kind of like if you had like um, like little tiny like sacks of grapes or whatever. Yeah, um, exactly. They they look kind of like grapes. They're they're basically there so that you can increase the surface area so you get more efficient gas exchange. Hmm. Bodies love to like increase surface area in fun ways. Um Oh, they sure do. Hmm. I I uh I prefer what I not to increase my surface area, but I'm really good at doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a skill issue thing. Yeah. <laughs> So like when I need to, you know, respiration, digestion, um, cognition, any of that stuff, you know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this, this fucks you up, is the main thing about it. Yeah, yes. basically. So, the really fun part about this is that the frequency and size of outbreaks have been increasing, as have the number of sporadic ca cases. Climate change mm. really is cool. Oh, awesome. Ooh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I put that in as another little Sucks. bonus slide at the end that we'll get to. Uh, I put in some CDC data. Yay! It's Hooray. these guys! Yeah, these this guys. is the Legion. It's the American Legion. Not, not Rome, or like, the uh, fake yeah, Rome and Fallout New Vegas, or France. Yeah, it's these guys. So, in 1976, the city of Philadelphia was cele celebrating America's 200th birthday, even though she didn't Woo! look a day over 150. <laughs> Go birds! <laughs> Go birds, indeed. Mm -hmm. I'm so, fascinated by this guy on the, the front row left, the, the shape of his chin. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. It really is. So much going on there, but yeah. So th th these guys in the hats um, are uh, we're doing veterans. a party. Yeah, mm -hmm. doing a party. Yeah, uh, they were they were doing a party, uh, and it, this party happened to take place at the Bellevue Stratford Hotel. I mean, here's the thing, right? If yeah. if you're doing if you're doing like veteran stuff in in '76 or whatever, like and everyone's a veteran. There was there was there was a draft. Like it it seems try hard to me. You know, a that's of, my, that's my firm stance that's going to get people very mad at us. It's like, no, if you fought in World War II and you want to commemorate it in any way, you're a loser. It's like being like, oh, you never got over what you did in high school. Everyone went to World War II. It's more like just a, a social club for dudes to hang out. And it still uh, is. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still around. The, uh, then there's they still all, do the hats. There's a bunch of them. Hope you oh, like, yeah. Uh, hope you like shows with cheap beer and uh, no one's checking your ID. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hardcore shows with bands that are, yeah, yeah. Shit, I mean, okay, I, I, I perfectly reverse my opinion on these guys, then. <laughs> yeah, they just, my, they my just have a... My 100% the... serious stance that every American yeah. veteran of World War II was a loser. 